Ferry is here and we're about to hop on to go all the way to Center Island. I think it's about a 20 minute boat ride and it's going to be a beautiful view of the city. Let's go check it out. What's the Titanic song? <laughs> We are arriving to Center Island. That was a beautiful boat ride. It was so nice seeing, you know, the view, being on the water. And now we get to experience all Center Island has to offer. We have made it here from Toronto on the ferry to Center Island and we are here with Christine who's going to be telling us all about this space. Tell us how big this island is. This island is pretty big. It's over 600 acres. Um, there's a bunch of smaller islands attached to Center Island. One of the main ones is Olympic Island uh, which is directly behind us um, and then there's smaller little pockets of islands um, that are more wildlife areas that are on Center Island. Yeah, Center Island is absolutely beautiful. There's nature, there's mm -hmm. things to do. What else makes Center Island so special? Uh, I think it's just the park ground. It's just really scenic. Uh, there's lots of trees, lots of shady areas. Um, there's lots of little uh, paths that you can walk around. Um, and there's also little tourist um, destinations like the lighthouse. Um, there's the tram tours, there's bike rentals, um, and other concessions as well where you can just sit, have a drink, or get a bite of food. Yeah, this is a great place for people mm -hmm. to come and just enjoy a full day of fun. But are there actually people who live on the island? There are people who live on the island and they've been here for a long time. I've heard about a hundred years. Um, there are no cars, which is kind of an interesting thing, especially since they're part of the city. It's good for uh, exercise, I guess. Yes, yes, it is, it is. <laughs> but it's also a unique way to, you know, to live your life is to live on an island. For people who have never been here before, tell us the process of like how you get here from Toronto and what happens when you come here. Like what are some must-see attractions? Well, the main way to get here is the Toronto Island Ferry, which is at the Jack Layton Ferry Terminal, which is at 9 Queens Key West. Uh, you also can take a water taxi if you choose to do so. Um, and then once you get here, it's kind of at your own disposal. So definitely you can go to Centerville Amusement Park. Um, it also has rides, food. We have a farm, there's splash pads, bike rentals, um, and then there's the pier and then the beaches, which are great clean beaches that we have here in Toronto, which I don't think a lot of people know that. Center Island has been here for so many years. You know, my grandparents even remember it. Tell us what has stayed the same for Center Island and what's like new and upcoming. Well, the main thing that stayed the same, and I can only say this is because I work there, is Centerville Amusement Park. It's been there for over 50 years. Um, and it's been a staple here on the island. Um, and I think the up and coming things is just the, the people that come here and the different cultures of people that are coming here. Um, and I think that's the exciting thing about this city. Now, I'm very excited to go and explore all Center Island has to offer, but do you have any you know, hidden gems that I need to see, must-sees, must-dos? Oh, yes, I would definitely go to the beach um, and also go to the lighthouse, see that, because that has a good history of its own. Um, but yeah, mainly just go for the beach, sit under, sit under a tree with a book, um, you know, with friends or even just by yourself. There's just, it's just a great island. I love it. Thank you so much, Christine. I'm so excited to explore the island and have some fun. We are now here at Centerville Amusement Park. We are here with Shane, the president. Tell us how long Centerville has been around. Centerville has been around for 57 years. Uh, it's been owned and operated by the Beasley family, and uh, we own and operate all the rides, the food concessions, and all the restaurants, snack bars on the island. Amazing, 57 years is a long time. Can you tell us how this amusement park started? And It first, yeah. it first started by my, uh, my father, Warren Beasley Sr., uh, back in 1967. Uh, the city was looking for something to do on the island, so he proposed to put in a children's amusement park. My family was in the uh, amusement industry for uh, probably a hundred years, I would say. Uh, my grandfather was uh, 
involved in the CNE. My father worked there and he was looking for something to do on top of what he was doing, so he proposed to build this children's amusement park and uh, the city went, uh, go for it. Yeah, and here it is 57 years later. Now, what I'm noticing is there's a lot of families around with young kids. Why is this the perfect place to come with family? This place is perfect because it's geared for the children. Uh, it's for family too. Our rides are either for children or families. It's, it, it's not, we're not looking for the thrill seekers. We're looking for the moms and the children. And when you come here, it's very relaxed. You can come walk around the park. Uh, the children are, feel safe. The parents feel safe to go on all the rides. All the rides are safe. And uh, we just try to make it a fun, happy place for people to come. Okay, before I actually go and venture out into the park, as someone who's been here for a long time, you gotta tell me what's your favorite ride and what is a ride that I definitely need to try. Uh, you definitely need to try the Scrambler ride. That's, that's my, one of my favorites, the inside with lights, music, a uh, little bit of thrill seeking. Uh, for the older people, they like the chairlift or, the, or our antique carousel. Our carousel's 120 years old. Because of our longevity, people come here and they say, oh, I remember being on it as a child. And then they put their own child on it and take a picture of them. And, and it kind of relates through their family. So. Yeah, the nostalgia is real here. I also remember coming here as a child and it feels so surreal to be here now. So I'm excited to get out there, try some rides and enjoy the nature of Center Island at Centerville. <laughs>
was so unsuspecting. That was way more incredible than I expected it to be. Wow. Next up is the antique carousel, and when I say antique, I actually mean it. It was built in 1903, and it's one of 30 hand-carved carousels in existence. It's over 100 years old, so that means I'm riding on a piece of history. Giddy up! carousel and now it's time for the antique ferris wheel gotta hit up all the antiques it's pretty cool because once you get to the very top you get an epic view of toronto it was so fun riding the rides and seeing the sights of Centerville. Now it's time to meet some animals and meet some farmers at Far Enough Farm. Woo! We are here at Far Enough Farm within Centerville and as you can probably hear there's some animals. I love that. Lindsay, you are the farmer here. Tell us how long this farm has been on the island. Uh, so the farm was started uh, on Centre Island in 1959. Um, obviously it's grown since then, but some of it is for sure original. A lot of the fences are original. <laughs> the barn is original. Um, some of the sheds are original. They've been you know, fixed up a bit over the years and some pens have been added. Yeah, oh, so fun. I love animals and you have a lot of them here. How many animals do you have and what kinds of animals are they? So at the busiest part of the season, um, when the weather's the nicest, it's probably about 40, maybe 45. Some of them are having babies, obviously. So, um, and then, you know, they start to go home a little bit as the weather cools down. Um, we've got ponies, donkeys, sheep, goats, alpacas, uh, a dwarf zebu, which is a kind of small cow. I love um, that. I want to meet that small cow. <laughs> he's really sweet. Common's really sweet. Um, peacocks, ducks, chickens, bunnies, guinea pigs, it's pretty much everybody. Wow. Okay. So do the animals stay here throughout the year or do they actually go somewhere else during the winter time? They go uh, up to a big farm in Schaumburg during the winter, um, in part because it's a little bit cold on the island. Obviously here the weather can be unpredictable. Um, and so there's a big barn there that they can all go inside to keep warm. Um, and also there's not so many people. Uh, you know, in February it's a bit of a walk from Wards Island in the snow. And so it's, you know, they get a bit lonely without people coming to visit them all the time. Um, so they like to go home to Schaumburg to see their Schaumburg family. And then they come back um, for the summertime. And then they come back in the spring, yeah, okay. as soon as the weather is nice. Now with this, this is not just a petting zoo. This is actually a fully functional farm. Tell us how that works and operates. Um, just like any other farm, um, I think in some petting zoos, you know, the animals, they just come, they stay for a short period or maybe just during the day. So people can meet them, but these guys live here. You know, some of them are having babies here or at least nursing their babies if they give birth somewhere else. Yeah. Um, so we do everything for them. This is their home for at least, you know, six months of the year. Why is Far Enough Farm a staple of Center Island? Um, I mean, it's been here for a really long time and it's a really nice opportunity, I think, for people who wouldn't otherwise get a chance to see what farming in Ontario or farming in Canada is like, to see it really up close. Um, you can obviously walk around and meet all the animals pretty easily. Um, it's far enough farm because it's just far enough. Just far enough. <laughs> just far enough. <laughs> Lindsay, I'm so excited to go meet some of those cute little fuzzy creatures. It's not every day that you get to have a farm experience in the heart of the city. So let's do it. For sure. Oh, 
is this the cow? This is Comet. Oh. This is Comet the cow. Comet, can we come in and say hi to you? A little bit? What do you think? Hi, Comet. Comet is a dwarf zebu. Um, if you've ever seen pictures or videos of India, the cows that are walking around. Ooh, oh, hi. that's Prince. He just wants to have a sniff of your hair. Oh, sure. Go ahead. This is Prince the alpaca. He really likes, he likes hi. hair. Um, and so, and he likes to give kisses. Hi. So he's hi. coming to Came check right things to out. What's hi. up, Comet? Oh, I just touched your neck, sorry. More scratches? I'll ask next time. Comet is basically the mini version of an Indian cow. Um, so that's, he's got the hump. It works just like a camel's hump. Um, obviously he's not missing many meals here, but uh, if he was a little light on food or water, he could, you know, use the fat <laughs> in there to keep himself hydrated. And okay, that's really cool. Fresh. And I love that you're just watching the whole thing. I know my hair is a little cooler than yours. <laughs> Do you want to give me? <laughs> I love this. Okay, Good boy, see you later. Comment. He was just like, just wanted to check you out. Super cool. Nice to meet you, Comet. You're a good boy, Comet. You're a good You're a boy. Good boy. Yeah. Hi. How you doing? Are you trying to talk to me? I'm sorry, I don't know what that sound was. What's his name? Uh, Peeps. Peeps. And his sister is Cheap. Oh, and Peeps go, and Cheeps. If you don't mind, I might get her. Yeah. She's a little bit like, where's my Cheeps. friend? Peeps and Cheeps got to be together. So this is Gunner the goat. Hello, oh, last Gunner, are you camera shy? Okay. Gunner, do you want to go for a run? Ready? Gunner, I want to fall on you. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Come on, Gunner. Come on, Gunner. Oh, be careful. Okay, come on. Come on, Gunner. No, I don't want to trip. There you go. Come on. Oh, he's coming for you, Carl. Oh, oh <laughs> come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come here, buddy. Oh, come here. Well, Lindsay, thank you so much You're for welcome. showing me around. And I, I had such an awesome day with the animals. All of them are so fun and friendly. I just. It was great, so thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> say bye to the camera, Gunner. Oh, say bye to the camera. Say bye. Yeah, there you go. Oh! <laughs> Did you know the best way to get around Center Island is on a bike rental? Hop on in. Now that we're on the quadricycle, our goal is to get to a beach and see the oldest lighthouse on the Great Lakes. Oh, I see the lighthouse through the trees. There it is. We've officially made it to Gibraltar Point Lighthouse, and I'll read you the little blurb here. This is the oldest surviving lighthouse on the Great Lakes and the second oldest surviving lighthouse in Canada. So this is kind of a big deal. It was constructed in 1808. Let's go check it out. I have found the perfect skipping rock. I got two there. <laughs> Look at this, it looks like an alien. <laughs> well, we did it. We found the beach, we found the lighthouse, and we went to Centerville. It was an amazing day on Center Island. Now time to get home and catch the ferry. Oh, gotta watch out for people. 